please get ready for a dictation of extracts from a handbook of select essays by drishti publications it is on india and the world 5 seconds start a key question for 1.3 billion indians is whether we can reclaim the position held for a thousand years or even that which we occupied in the 17th century the answer to this question lies in achievement that we made after independence the period after 1947 was of momentous significance we took giant strides in various fields that helped to release the people and the country from shackle of colonialism the 21st century has brought new hopes and aspirations among the people of india these hopes and aspirations of people have been created by various research and reports conducted by the different institutions world over today india is the sixth largest economy in the world in terms of gdp but most analysts agree that by 2030 it is on its way to become the third largest after the us and china apart from rapid economic growth india is also an emerging military power with the largest defense budget among south asian countries indian possesses nuclear weapon intercontinental ballistic missile aircraft carrier etc it is a well acknowledged fact of history that india had close cultural and religious links with the countries of south east asia and east asia during the ancient period buddhism originated in india spread rapidly to east asian nations in modern times japan supported india towards its freedom struggle after independence india for long virtually neglected looking eastward in its foreign policy there were several reasons economically the region was less developed than india until the 1970s india's own economic policies were insular and protectionist politically india and the south east asian countries were on opposing sides of the cold war divide in this way we missed a great opportunity to foster ties with our asian neighbors to the east during a crucial period when the foundation stones of india's foreign policy architecture were being laid end of the cold war starting with the disintegration of the soviet union led to the intensification of the processes globalization liberalization and privatization this led to the fundamental changes in the global political social and economic architecture it also led to the search for new alignment to maintain balance in strategic context neo liberalism emerged as the prominent ideology with the breaking of communist economies of the soviet union and other eastern east european nations like yugoslavia with the fall of india's most powerful and trusted ally the soviet union and the emergence of the united states 
of America as undisputed power, India's foreign policy was bound to change. The new geopolitical and economic scenario had a deep impact on the foreign and domestic policies of global actors. India was no exception. With successive governments, India's foreign policy framework has witnessed a sea change. Global geopolitical dynamics, evolving bilateral relations, and erstwhile national aspirations have been the major determinants of India's foreign policy from time to time. Foreign policy decisions such as India's participation in the non-alignment movement, Gujral doctrine and Look East policy have played a key role in shaping the nation's history and strengthening India's international standing and the local economy. They have also proved that a clear foreign policy framework plays a key role in ensuring countries' progress on multiple fronts. Thus, chalking out India's foreign policy framework at a time when India is standing on the cusp of becoming a global power is crucial. India has always been known to use its soft power to achieve its interests and substantiate its standing on the world stage. While it has served the country's purpose well on many occasions, it has also been perceived as a weakness by many critics who suggest a move towards a hawkish foreign policy framework. Hawkish policy demands India to be more assertive and open to military interventions to resolve international issues. Though India's foreign policy framework has always been a much debated and discussed issue among the country's political and intellectual class, it has attracted all the more limelight in the last few years due to a number of reasons, including India's endeavor to join some of the prestigious multinational forums. According to Dalai Lama, our prime purpose in life is to help others. Helping each other is what makes us humans special. Compassion and altruism are the basic components of humanness. Even the most hard-hearted person might have helped someone in need at some point of time. Helping others is the fundamental characteristic of humans, but different people do it in different ways. Some tend to donate money to charitable organizations. Some people give money to the poor directly. Some people volunteer to do social work, while some create work for others. It is important to understand which type of help is most beneficial to humankind. Recently, Chennai has experienced one of the biggest floods in over 100 years. Life had come to a standstill.